Welcome to Post COVID 19 Podcast, brought to you by HITEP, building a stronger healthcare system. This episode, as well as the whole series, is funded by Ministry of Public Health, Thailand. I am Yin Yin. Today, we'll be talking about telemedicine with beloved colleague and teammate. Hi, Om. Sanika, Om Ka, Benjamin Pon Im Sakun, Emery Research Assistant at Health Intervention and Technology Assessment Program of HITEP. So let's get started. As in the first episode, Dr. Yot Tira Watananon, that Thailand is assessing health technology, which include telemedicine in the universal health insurance. For those who are not familiar, an easy example of mobile health application having telemed feature is Mochana application, where patients can communicate with doctors online. In some countries, they can claim the bills of using this service in their health insurance. However, we are still confused of the difference of telemedicine, mHealth, telehealth, etc. If we are not clear about the scope of telemedicine services, it will be hard for government to decide what services can be claimed by our health insurance. To take this dilemma in Thailand, we are excited to have OM, research assistant working for HITEP. OM, including myself, who are currently working on classification of digital health terms in Thailand. We are going to share our expertise on the field with you today. So um, during the pandemic in Thailand, there was a lot of conversation around telemedicine and digitalization of health. We saw how the National Health Security Office, NHSO, joined hands with other stakeholders to provide telemedicine services to the general public. My question here is, what exactly do you mean by the digitalization of healthcare. Okay, uh, digital health is simply an intersection between information and communication technologies and healthcare. With the advancements in ICT over the past decade, came its rapid use in the healthcare sector. If I were to formally define digital health, I would say that. Uh, digital health as the use of ICT to support health and health-related fields. This is a definition coined by the WHO. Mm, interesting. So simply put, anything that has to deal with information and communication technology and health is digital health, right? Yes, that is correct. So in addition to digital health, I've also heard the term e-health quite often. Could you please tell me what e-health is and how it is different from digital health? Yes, so e-health is the short form for electronic health. After reviewing multiple lit- literature, we have concluded that electronic health, popularly known as e-health, can be considered like digital health, thus often e-health and digital health are aptly used interchangeably. Thanks for that clarification. From our conversation, it feels like there are a lot of terms within the umbrella of digital health. Could you please explain if there is any international agency that has tried to summarize all the definitions of these terms associated with digital health? Unfortunately, there is no international consensus. Interesting, we at HITAP are currently doing that. Uh, we actually collected and we review the different definition and synthesize a visual representation of digital health and associated terms. Our work builds on existing evidence and try to simplify the concept of digital health for all. Our illustration can aid in providing a simplified understanding of the common terms discussed under digital health. This can be especially useful for researchers, policymakers, and public, and also uh, private sector players when making reimbursement uh, decisions. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you here, but you can go on to HITAP official website to see the image once it is uploaded, uh, which will be soon. The common challenge with this comes specifically for the payer and governments that 
assess the value of new telehealth and telemedicine technologies to ensure equal coverage. Uh, in addition to the policy makers and insurers, a formal definition can help researchers as well. Qualifying the definition of telehealth, telemedicine, and e-health and other terms will have significant implications on ongoing research. Uh, this will help lay out goals for successful implementation of these technologies. A universal understanding can also help in evaluating these technologies as well. Oh, that was insightful. That leads to my next question. You mentioned telehealth and telemedicine quite a few times. I have always been using these terms interchangeably. Is that correct? Or do they represent different things? Mm, telehealth and telemedicine are often used interchangeably in correctly. However, telemedicine is a branch of telehealth that focuses solely on clinical healthcare delivery. Telemedicine services are listed to uh, clinical evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment of patients, while telehealth also ensures the provision of non clinical service. Another subsection of telehealth is mobile health or M health. An overlap between M health and telemedicine is seen when mobile devices are used for telemedicine service. However, personal wellness applications that do not require a healthcare provider come outside the scope of telemedicine but are still within the broader term go telehealth. So lastly, before we conclude, Dr. Ted Roos recently tweeted in, on Twitter, the future of health is digital. It's a mess that we embrace it. Do you have any comments on this? Yes, I couldn't agree with the tweet more. Uh, digital health is booming industry with the train projecting a near 30% growth in the next seven years. There is no doubt that Technology will shape the future of health moving forward. Digital health is not just a technological innovation, but a shift to digital health can help more people access quality healthcare without putting a huge burden on the healthcare system. Uh, just imagine with proper channels of digitalized health will enable people in rural or a remote part of Thailand to get proper timely healthcare, which is not possible now. So, undoubtedly, we cannot separate digitalization and healthcare in the coming future. So, let's just embrace it. Wow, I believe that our audiences have enjoyed this episode so much. Thank you very much, On, for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you so much, too. Uh, with my pleasure to share the knowledge with everyone and having everyone to know and access telemedicine properly. It will be extremely exciting to hear more of each component in the next episode. We can see how they can strengthen our healthcare systems in the transition time for existing problems such as aging population and chronic non-communicable diseases and the escalating mega problems such as climate change. So everyone in the next episodes, stay put to our YouTube, Hi the Thailand. We will come back again next week. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful measures. You have been listening to post-COVID-19 postcard series brought to you by HITEP. To know more of our work, HITEP, do visit worldwideweb.hitep.net or follow our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at HITEP underscore Thailand.